What's up y'all, Dan O here, back again. I'm with my new friend Dan and the owner of Heisman's Traditional Bakery. Did I say that right? Traditional Bakery Perfect. in Delhi. Everything's homemade, one of the oldest in the actual country. So we're getting ready to go in here and we got something special that we requested that they make for us. We're actually getting a, what is that, 17 uh, 17 inch? inch hamburger bun. Hamburger bun. Let's go back in the back and let's get to cooking this bun and let Dan show us how it's done. The way I'm gonna start this off is we take, we're gonna do a lean dough, what we call a sweet dough. We're gonna start with water. We use compressed yeast. We got flour, some sweet dough in here, a little dough, which is like a dough starter for us. Mm. And this is all stuff that I know nothing about because <laughs> as you guys know, I only know how to grill. I know how to bake, use my oven, but I never bake bread. So this is all interesting to me. It's all another different animal when you bake. So how long does this take? It'll do um, two, three minutes. I gotta see my timer here. Three minutes in, uh, we call first speed. And we'll do around four to six minutes in second speed. And with baking, it's when the dough's ready is when it's ready. Yeah. I mean, it's affected by humidity, the heat in the shop, which is hot today. We call this a spiral mixer, which is different than these planetary mixers. As the bow spins and the hook spins, these only the hook spins on them, which the doughs get real beat up and they heat up really quick in here. With yeah. A lot of friction heat. I love these mixers. You know, a lot of the old time bakers won't use this, but I do. I'm kind of like a new modern. I'm old, but a new modern baker. I can mix anything from a five pound dough up to, a, and it's 75, 80, well, actually a 115 pound dough in here. Really? So you, like, got, any, uh, you got any good donut jokes? Donut jokes? <laughs> you got, you got to have some good this, donut this, jokes. This is a good one, Bob, but I don't have, I, don't, I, don't, I thought you might have some for this one. You set me up, but I don't know any. <laughs> no? I figured you might, you might have one up no. your sleeve. I got one. Oh, you do? Life's like a donut. You're in the dough or you're in the hole. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go, see? There we go. Now it's switching over. Okay. So now we're twice as fast now. Like so you kind of eyeball everything for the most part? Like especially uh, on everything those, you Especially had? when you got this kind of heat going on. You mean outside? Affects what's going on? Oh, yeah. Outside's inside here. <laughs> see, it's looking like he's going to need a, little, a couple handfuls of flour just because of the fact that it's not picking up at the bottom right there. You see that? He's saying because the dough's not picking up off the bottom end, it's kind of sticking to this center thing. He's going to have to add a little bit of flour to get it to stick. Some of the newer mix to have a cutout right there. There we go. Now, is that a, a self rising flour? Um, no. Just all purpose? Yeah, just an all purpose flour. Caught me there for a second. Yeah. All right. That's home. That's, home. that's stuff you use at home. <laughs> now all of our stuff is weighed out. You know, if you go to like Europe, they don't have any any uh, any of these little things. Everything's you know they have a small scale in all their kitchens, home kitchens, and everything's by grams. Yeah. Now, we we do ours by of course ounces and pounds, and uh, it's just so much more effective. You know, like somebody says a cup of flour. You know what I mean? Like is it a smooth top? You know, you can, because sometimes I'll have a formula, somebody give me, a lot of people come in and they want me to make something and I'll, they give me the recipe and then we'll have to convert it over here. And I, you know, it's so much, so much better when you, when you already have it weighed out as pounds and ounces. See how it all picked up off the bottom? Just flour, it didn't add any, any water, just flour. Yeah. How do you know when it's done? Oh, you know, I'll show it here. You're looking for elasticity of the dough. You see how it's pulling away? I call it like bellowing, you know, like a hot air balloon. You know how they, the certain hot air balloons outside, it, where they put the seams and it kind of bellows the outside. Yeah. That's the dough looks like that too as it as it starts mixing. And there's a test we do. I'll, I'll stop the mixture here and I'll show you that it's not ready. So you want the dough to be able to pull th pull out and see through it. But see, it's getting there. Yeah, see. see, see how it's ripping. And I'm trying yeah. to be real gentle because you'll see when it's done. But it's it's getting close. You want it like that, but it's too it's too. Um, hmm. You need it. You need it uh, mixed out a little bit more. It just right needs here. more time. Yeah. You don't need to add anything. You just give mm -mm. it a little bit no, more. No, you're not going to need to add nothing to this. It's perfect over here. 
see how the dough's really starting to starting to thin out now. Yeah. See how smooth it's getting? If there's a lot of dough, we'd be bellowing around, but you can see how it bellows over there. And it's and I go a lot by the noise too. See how it's starting to pop? See it now? Uh, That's see. what you're looking for. See how beautiful it is? Yeah. It's gonna tear at the end, of course. Yeah. See it? Wow. That's what you need. So then I go. reverse it. And it should come off there. And I'll stop it. This, this thing stick your hand down. Those other mixers. Whew. <laughs> they take your finger. <laughs> <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> Believe me. Looks like you got all yours. Yeah, I got them all. Yeah. So on yours, it's going to be four pounds, eight ounces of dough. Okay. So that's a big bun. Like our normal buns, like a full size bun, I think weighs four ounces, doesn't it, Bob? So that's a big difference. Four ounces compared to four pounds, eight ounces yeah. of dough. Well, that's pretty close. So we'll take this dough over here. Like I said, I'm gonna leave them on these pans because it'd be so much easier to take them off. Normally I'd bake them right, we call them the hearth of the uh, oven, but one off, she can't mess up. Make sure they're not gonna go nowhere. And there we go. There we go. What is that? 15 minutes to start with. All right. So we got our burger bun. Now it's time to make the burger. Thank you, Dan. All right, Dan, good luck with Thank the you. big burger. <laughs>